your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Welcome home, family. It's Welcome. Your, your mom, mom and dad. dad. And you hear Lee's voice. You hear that voice. Oh, thank God you're back, Lee. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It's We've, been a million years. It feels like it's literally been a million years. How are you doing? How is it being back? Have you readjusted to the time of it all? Kind of, I think. I still took a nap at like... Uh, 7 p.m. last night, but I woke up at 8.30, so it was okay. Okay. Ooh. Recovered. Okay. Do you ever feel like when you go on vacation, there's kind of like a shaming that goes on? Like, oh, how was vacation? Must be nice. <laughs> people start, you know, people say that. Every time Every time I do anything, they're like, how is it? Yeah, must be nice. That is nice. Ah, I need one of those. <laughs> how was it? Just like chilling, not working, not doing anything. How was that for you? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how like, was it? Lee never oh, stopped working. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Actually, that's, a, that's so true. <laughs> that's true. Lee was editing the podcast in Japan. In yeah. Japan, Which we're is, like... Which is basically the other side of the world <laughs> when it comes to hours. So he's literally like he was giving oh, us his oh. heart, soul, and mind like at all hours I when know. we were sending it over. I'm like, yeah. vacation? What are you talking about? <laughs> vacation? We don't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really funny editing like from afar because I'm like, oh, I want to say something. To this. Oh, <laughs> you wanted to chime in? Chime in, Lee. Yeah. There were so many moments where <laughs> I needed you in here and I needed you to just be holding my hand in friendship when Evan was just evening. It was so. really the, the glass foot, the glass in the foot. That was like, oh, I have so much to say. Uh, that was just, it took me too far. It was pushing me over the edge and I was like, where's my friend Lee? <laughs> to talk that, some yeah, sense her ally to this was man. gone, I will say. <laughs> but as gone. we all know, my glass was, you know, power minded out of my foot yeah. so whatever you guys would have said yeah. you know surgery would have been wrong the mind. surgery, surgery of the mind, of the mind. exactly mind surgeon I had a few uh, members of the family <sighs> reach out and say that you should put that as your Instagram bio and I was mind. like love you all but I feel like you'd get flagged yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say <laughs> Instagram would absolutely like Whatever they do when they like make your no one can see your account at all. Like they would do that they because they'd be like false information, like, everything. <laughs> yes, I would hope you'd get shadow banned for I'd being be on, a be like, mind listen, surgeon. If you snap your leg in half, the mind is quite the surgeon. <laughs> And the whole thing, they don't, they don't get its comedy though. They're just like, we need, this guy's canceled. He's gone. He's on CNN. And then I would go on just to promote mind surgery. I would be long gone, everyone. <laughs> and for, I would be long gone. You'd be long gone. Except I'd be a surgeon, so I'd be kind of rich. I'd be kind of, I'll be honest with you. So you'd I don't be... know how much they pay mind surgeons. <laughs> it's either nothing honest. or like a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing or everything. Mind there surgery is definitely like, there's a niche, but I could start like a, like a retreat center and get a bunch of rich people from like you know Malibu to like fly down where they're like really buying in you know like you get the rich people to like buy into like the stuff like that and you're like mind surgery is the future they're like I am gonna spend fifteen thousand dollars for this retreat sounds kind of more like a cult <laughs> so I think that's honest, where yeah. we're heading swiftly <laughs> mm -hmm. um but Lee I'm so happy that you're back and Lee walks in yes. not only is he just being our king mm -hmm. just just editing from afar he comes and he brings us a gift. Yes. There is a gift yes. for us to open. Can I open it? Yeah, open it, please. Oh my God. It's heavy. <gasps> is it water? It's just a water bottle. It's Fiji water. It's just like, please start drinking water. Whoa, <laughs> it's one of his works. <gasps> so Stop how much it. have we talked about this? Like we not at all. We haven't okay. because we've, we had, we've talked about this a lot off camera, but you were like, okay, let me prepare myself and be ready to yeah. officially make this known. Yeah, because every time I'd be like, can we talk about it? He's like, not quite yet. I don't yeah. think I want, really want to yet talk about it. You all, oh Whoa, my God. this Lee. is exciting. Everyone tune, this into, is gift. tune into the YouTube right now. Lee, I'm so excited. Okay, so this... Do you want to preface this at all? No, or just you open it. Okay, I want to okay, yeah, okay. see the like raw reaction. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, Lee. This is Lee. I have chills. Okay, everybody. Lee is a a sculptor, a potter. What's the best way? Ooh, by the way, look at the shine on that. <laughs> um, I don't know, potter, ceramicist, whatever. 
Mind this is like surgeon. not only is mind Lee surgeon. <laughs> mind surgeon. That's mind the name of your pottery company. <laughs> clay surgeon. No. He's a clay surgeon. Not only is Lee just Whoa. the most wonderful and talented in the video editing department, the production department. He is a ceramicist, and we've known this for a hot minute, yes. and we've seen his work. We have one of his cups. This vase. <laughs> it's look at the style. Gorgeous. Lee. Oh, it's funny. Well, we never talked about it, but I did give you guys a cup like I think a I year was ago. Say, yes. I was and just, it was it's been on camera. It's been yes. on camera it multiple on camera. times. We, we had a talk sneaky about moment. Um, Lee, oh my god, can I see it, Evan? It's heavy. <gasps> yeah. And that is like the same glaze that's on the cup. Yeah. So I thought it was it matches. Your vibe. So oh. It's like I don't know how to describe things, but I will say it's got like this incredible, like futuristic element to it. It's got like a brutalist vibe mixed yeah, with for like the, the audio future. Listeners. It's got like um It is so yeah, it's it's a st- yeah, if you're not watching, it's kind of got a gray, dark gunmetal kind of thing going on. It's twisted, it's, it's gorgeous. It's just it's high art shit. This is a high art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, thank you so much. No, Wait, okay, it's so stuff that it will be too expensive for any of you to buy in like five yeah, you years. You think the mind surgeon's you know making I mean? a He's lot of make, money? Exactly. Lee will be out of all of our pay range demos. We will have one of those futuristic houses Wait, Lee, that we visit. Is there any way or where that we can direct people? Can we plug something okay. here? Plug yeah. something? Well, like low key, I did open up my Instagram, which is just um, pictures of ceramics. Okay. You that offici- I've made okay, it's officially and, like, open. Some cartoon. Fr- it's like it was a soft launch. Uh, you know, because some family members did find me like a year ago. Okay. You know, like uh, some, you know, they found yes. me. I don't it was know a how, private Instagram. You know, okay. maybe through like they found, you know, but anyway, yes. um, it was like a year and I was like, oh wait, these people are still like waiting to get in, I guess. And I was like, all right, why not? Fuck it. Like, I don't show myself at all. It's yes. just like what I make and like cool, like cartoon frogs, I guess sometimes. So, yes. Yeah. So the Instagram is open. It's open. You can find me at internet ceramics internet ceramics I, I, that. I couldn't I believe that was available that like is I, kind of insane i went to a workshop last year and my old name which i can just say now was just lee with like a thousand e's right, right. i remember when you changed yeah. it and, and I, was I was like oh my god like, lee did the switch yeah and i was like i have to like meet all these new people because there was like a like an excel sheet a sign up sheet of like oh like show your instagram and i'm like oh i'm about to take up like 20 blocks <laughs> you're like you have to look and count how yeah. many e's no it's like i'll just change it i'm like oh what if internet ceramics is open that'd be a funny joke for like a pottery workshop right and it was so not internet dot just internet ceramics just internet, internet ceramics, ceramics. Damn, that's amazing <laughs> okay everybody you but gotta go on are internet you selling ceramics. anything yet um yeah i there might i might start sell, like selling at a shop okay this year okay and yeah i'll keep everyone updated, please keep though. us posted and then will you be posting about that on your instagram <laughs> yeah, too so yeah, people sure. oh my god like any true artist I'm so his, he's elusive with his uh <laughs> know. you know with your uh, with his ability to give you his own art so just stay tuned is, Lee, the, this is uh, such an honor thank you so much oh, for this gift you, beautiful oh my and gosh. it now I'm putting lives it, I'm dead gonna... center yeah i'm like look move the roses over i was gonna say should i put the roses in but then i feel like it's kind of like i feel like i'm not you can i i don't want to like shame the bachelor but i feel like this is way too nice yeah it's kind of like <laughs> so i'm moving to swine a little I'm bit moving, i'm moving our <laughs> lamp and i'm putting the oh, yeah. <laughs> how's that yeah this is wild i can't much talk. better so, okay this is much better much better <laughs> wow oh my gosh lee thank you okay everybody so you'll be lee. editing this and lee you can go ahead and put your uh, banner down right <laughs> here yes right here <laughs> <laughs> do it all oh lee thank you so Beautiful. much i'm so, so excited that the so. family finally knows about your skill because we've always been so wowed I by know. it and now we're like we can officially talk yes. about it that makes yes. me so happy it's so cool okay well there it is everyone you know that our um beloved lee is actually a world and that means we won't probably have him for very long because know, he'll be so traveling the world doing take advantage of every second we have with lee before he's <laughs> before he's long on gone every us. cover of all the high-end art magazines Too that i'm not high. fancy enough to know <laughs> yeah lee you've made this day more glorious than it even is and today is a glorious <laughs> it day is a glorious because day. not only are you back and not only is your art now mm-hmm. exposed and now we have this beautiful piece um today's the premiere day for joey's bachelor season yes. <laughs> and, I and it's looking good everybody the intro the intro of this bachelor season okay wait should we do a quick ad and then talk about this yes. intro because i'm sorry i have a lot to, a say, lot to say about it everybody okay my jaw was on the floor okay before we officially get into 
this bachelor season, this Joey um, family. I am so, so excited that we get to partner with this company because I have been a fan fan, like a proper fan. Listen, who doesn't love the good things in life? Even though I enjoy a little luxury, it doesn't mean I can always afford it. Am I right? You can always afford it until I discovered Quince. Hear me when I tell you once I discovered Quince, it became my go-to for luxury essentials at affordable prices. You know I love the fashion of it all. So I was shocked, awed, and thrilled when I discovered Quince and their pieces. They're so chic and they're timeless and they're such high quality. But this is partnered with also with an amazing price, okay? Like all of Quince's items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Like it's unbelievable, okay? I love Quince. So good. I feel pure elegance when wearing their pieces. You know how we feel about elegance. Oh yeah, well, big <laughs> elegant fans elegant over here. Elegant 2024. <laughs> uh, Quince offers a wide range of high quality items at prices within reach, which is huge uh, like 100 percent mongolian cashmere sweaters from 50 dollars, washable silk tops and dresses organic cotton sweaters and 14 karat gold jewelry by partnering directly with top factories quince cuts out the cost of the middleman and passes the savings on to us and quince only works with factories that use safe ethical and responsible manufacturing practices and premium fabrics and finishes i don't know if you heard evan but he said cashmere sweater and fifty dollars, okay, yeah, is unreal. Is it it's unreal. It is not a typo. Okay. It is Quince, okay. baby. Um, but it is so real and so luxurious. Quince's sweaters are my new obsession. The quality is perfection. The look is timeless. And I recently got a pair. I'm wearing them right now. I, I'm not very flexible, so you can't see them. <laughs> <laughs> but they are the fleece joggers, the wide leg. I have been wearing these joggers every single day since yes. I got them and you can't stop. I think they're made out of butter. Yeah, they feel like butter. Yeah. They're incredible, okay? I'm telling you, you have to go to their website and browse. It is endless fashion goodness, including for the kids, by the way. I'm telling you, you gotta go on the website. They have it all. Genuinely, in my opinion, Quince is as good as it gets for luxury pieces coupled with affordable prices. Give yourself the luxury you deserve with Quince. Go to quince.com slash momdad for free shipping on your order and 365 days returns oh my god that's q u i n c e dot com slash mom dad to get free shipping and 365 day returns quince.com slash mom dad so to the intro of this official joey bachelor season okay money Okay, mystery. Yeah. Okay, cash. Someone's rich or something. <laughs> like, somebody is rich right now. It was like, I, we heard the song and we're like, wait, that's not the song, is it? Because usually it's like, you know what I mean? It's kind of got like that, tonight's the night, just like these $9 songs that they're pulling off of some like royalty free website. <laughs> no offense to anyone who's making those songs. I'm just saying like, it doesn't sound, you know what I mean? Like, but when you hear a song like the Billie Eilish song, you're like, Oh, it started off. It makes you it makes wow. you feel like you're watching something bigger. They took a note from the Golden Bachelor and they started this season off with a clip from the end of the show where we see Joey. He's bawling. He's upset. There is a rose left on the pedestal and there is a car driving away. So we're left to question. Did his final choice yeah. reject him and leave? Did his. Uh, did was the person who he said no to first? Was it too heartbreaking? Because I'm, I'm thinking I mean, what's happening. I'm thinking it has to be more than what meets the eye, than them just giving away the end of the show. You well, know what I'm saying? Like there has to be another level here because it's like they literally just show someone leaving, him bawling and walking off set. So you're kind of like, okay, thanks for the cliffhanger, but also like. You know, you gave me the well, ending. The guy say, dies. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh, okay. The main character dies. So you're like, I don't need. Wait, what's the movie then? A little bit. But like they also, they also have shown us in like like uh, interviews and all this that apparently it ends like we've never seen. Like they're an ending we've never seen before. Right. And I've seen Joey in interviews be like, it's true. I, I'm i not really a huge watcher of the show, but I don't think that it's ever <laughs> I ended. Just, I just had a funny thought. You know how Leia gets the card? Yeah. That is, you know, which we can, we, can I say it? I mean, I guess we're going to yeah, go please, through it. Yeah. The Leia gets the card that says like, I can steal a one-on-one. What if Leia steals the one-on-one, but it's at the <laughs> altar? <sighs> 
and she didn't specify. Like Leia gets cut way early on, but she, from from home she steals him and he's and sobbing he's because he's like I, ch- I chose my final because it's like an arranged marriage at that point almost you know what i mean it's like well you said and they're like we're looking at the contract there is no specification that if she gets cut she can't use the card so then his love of his life is leaving and leia's pulling up being like you're mine now you know what we haven't seen it happen before. <laughs> yeah, that that <laughs> could be the it thing. Hasn't happened <laughs> she just shows up. She's like, I choose to steal this one on one from you. <laughs> They're like, what? <laughs> and then she's like, put her hands out. Anyway. I mean, Joey's crying. He's crying. He's crying. But you know what's interesting about him? He's crying and he's doing, you know how people say he doesn't blink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also doesn't like shield himself like you know when most people cry they go like this like they cover their eyes and they go no. like this they, they like they, they they wipe their tears they rub their face they kind of sit there and go like like this he just stands there and just goes yeah <laughs> and then the tears are just <laughs> falling it's like wild you know what you know what i think this is like he doesn't oh he just lets it hit i think i think what we're really discovering is that like joey knows no he doesn't know what shame is in like the most beautiful way possible i agree this man Major respect. yeah you agree. know like how i feel like you know typically we blink to keep our eyes moistened but sometimes i feel like i over blink because i start thinking about am i blinking enough yeah right. and then i start blinking too much and then i'm like am i blinking too much this is or we it, eat this you're is like into covering your mouth and then you're like covering your eyes yeah, if yeah. you're like you know it's like shame joey's just like <laughs> i'm just existing and i'm a guy who doesn't blink i'm a guy whose eyes don't I'll need watering right in your face yeah, yeah yeah his eyes are just very naturally moistened i noticed that, that when is. he was talking to um i forget one of the women one of the 32 women um that he there was a tear rolling down his eye when he wasn't crying because i yeah. think he just has like very moist eyes you know what people and people, Gorg, by the way game of roses called this from the top they call it his gaze and it's yeah. and now i saw like a clip they were doing on jimmy kimmel where they're joking about it like game of roses once again just out the yes. gate just nailed something okay here's the thing yeah people talk about this guy doesn't blink yeah <laughs> kind of weird right i mean sure but whatever i'm just saying that's kind of the the sure. the, the insinuation is it's kind of creepy or it's kind of weird that someone's not blinking and yeah, looking yeah. directly but when you actually think about it mm-hmm. blinking is the sign of a deficiency a divi- of water in your water eyes? deficiency in your eyes right you only blink to just keep it moist so that it doesn't burn he's just he's so moist he's so moist. <laughs> he's so moist that he doesn't need to blink so when you think about it, Thanks he's so better so than us. He's so moist as wild. Dude, Joey's hella moist right now. <laughs> he also just sees so much more of the world. That's true. It's, vision. it's so clear. Think about if you added up wow. all the blinks in your life. Yeah. It's probably like a year. He's going to live a year longer, but not actually. Li- he's going to experience life one year longer. I f- never but you know, and I feel like he knows so much more than all the rest of us because he's if, seen things we're not seeing. I'll, I'll be real with you. I feel like this season of The Bachelor already from episode one could be sponsored by a massive weed company. Now, I'm not saying I don't know. I'm, I'm not claiming that Joey is a big pothead. So sorry, Joey, if you've never touched the stuff. Yeah. But like the energy of this season, this man he is only exists in a calm space. Like this is a man who he he doesn't drink coffee and he only drinks tea because he's like, I feel like if I take a sip of coffee, I'm going to miss out on a moment in my life that I Whoa. would go too fast by. Mm. Like he is so wise. <laughs> he's so wise. That's an option. <laughs> That's yes. an option for sure. Hey, but it's very weed energy in like the best Big, way. It's very like, <clears throat> let's take this slow, baby. It's either, yeah, it's either, it's either weed mixed with like a lot of silent retreats. Oh my God. So many. Silent He's got retreats. like silent retreat energy, yeah, yeah. which is like, I'll never rush, yeah. you know, cause I'm going to take my time with this life. Yeah. Now I will say this. Mm-hmm. It does. And Joey, I love you. I mean, there's nothing not to like. He's a, it gives so, he's me, a walking green flag as the woman said. Absolutely. But it gives me a little anxiety. Does it really? Yeah, because I'm kind of like, hey, wake up a little bit. <laughs> like, I need, like, if I was a girl, it would be anxiety causing for me because I need a little, like, back and forth sure. with it. Like, I need to say something funny and yeah. then you kind of snap at me and then we go ba ba ba. And then, you know what I'm saying? But what if I have, if I can't get good or bad reaction out of you, yeah. I'm constantly like, I don't even know where he's at. Do you know what I want to say to you in that moment? Huh. I recognize that and I felt that deeply watching this. And you know what I realized? It was a mirror. Joey's a mirror. 
Because I was like, you got to slow the fuck down, lady. Like, who are you trying to impress? You're talking to this guy. He's like here. He's present with you. And you're feeling like, oh, I got to fill empty space. Uh I was like, no, 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 no. Joey, again, he's so wise that he's just this mirror to all of us just to like take our time. Your anxious energy, your anxious energy wants to fill space. And Joey's just like, what's the rush, my guy? Now, that's true. (laughs) That's all I'm saying. (laughs) But you but it helps to be hot. Does that make sense? <laughs> like it is pretty. Like, if it you're is gonna pretty be, privileged. It's pretty privileged if, it's, for sure. If you're gonna be a person of very few words, yeah, it helps to be hot. <laughs> it's pretty privileged. Because if you're not hot, there's just kind of like you don't exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it helps to be hot <laughs> while being mysteriously quiet. He do, he's That's rocking the say. pretty privilege yes. and everybody's talking about exactly. it. It's very true. You know, I appreciate these analyses about yeah. Joey, but my God, I do have to say episode one, he really is a walking green flag. Yeah. Every move he makes is just like a thumbs up. I was like, there are no, I see no flaws, which yeah. is also always a little nerve wracking. A little scary. It's always a little nerve wracking where, where you're hiding? like, he's so perfect. And maybe this is the skeptic in me. And I don't, I really don't think we're going to see that. I think we're going to see a pretty flawless performance from him. I think we should play a game throughout this season called Guess the Red Flag. <laughs> <laughs> and we just kind of every once in a while, if we feel a tingling, like maybe we're like, it's this, this is what it is. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we see this ending where he's crying, but again, I just, I, I tend to, the, yeah, I, don't see I tend to believe that Joey's going to be pretty flawless in this performance after night one. Do you think it's going to be not a red flag, but do you think he's going to walk away from this kind of be like, Exactly. Good guys don't win. Ooh. You know, the kind of thing where like people always, you know, they're, it's like, oh, I don't like bad boys. But like, yeah, how come you never pick a good guy then? Vibe, but then maybe yeah, he'll yeah, feel yeah, yeah. a little like I got left twice. I'm maybe. a good guy. Everyone says how great of a guy I am. But look at me. I, don't I know. can see Joey being the type of guy where maybe his quote unquote flaw in this game might be that he there are too many options of potential okay. uh, final choices because he's one of those guys, chemistry with everybody. Chemistry with everybody. Yeah. I think everyone's going to think he's in love with them. Oh. And I think that might make it messy. Yeah, because I will say, after watching him with every single girl, yeah. I, I was did like, not she could notice be the one. one difference. <laughs> no, there was not once not where once. I went, ooh, the chemistry is off the chain. Literally, it was like, same person, same response. The second, the first woman he sat with, I was like, this is the one. And the next yeah. woman, I was like, that's going to be the one. Like for the first time in I don't know how long, I really was like, I don't know no who will clue. get the first impression, Rose, because he's got chemistry with everybody. And I think he might be in love with all of us. Joey loves all of us. <laughs> yeah, loves- I will say, because there was even He's a couple a moments where they started making out and it was like, yo, I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> and then they start making out. I was like, wait, what? How did they even get there? <laughs> yeah. And then some that were like, seemed to kind of like having a little more electricity didn't make out. Maybe so he I don't like know maybe he IR, IRL very much feels the chemistry. Oh, maybe he's like we I mean, can't sense it, but he can. We no can't, one can sense it no, except we him. We can't sense it because we move too fast, babe. It's true. He's slow. He I got a buddy it. who's kind of like that. Yeah. He's kind of like hippie vibes, and he's like he kind of says stuff like, you know, he's he's very like he'll just go, mm, mm. yeah. And every once in a while, I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> Like you're going way you're too slow right now. <laughs> you're like my anxious, tra- traumatized energy. My need shame you to fill is this. screaming. <laughs> but listen, we got that opener, and someone's got cash. Yeah. Someone is absolutely loaded. Someone, oh, yeah. there's a producer that all of a sudden had like a family member pass and yeah. left them a fortune <laughs> because all of a sudden we get a Billy eilish song and in a big year for billy too i mean billy's getting all the yeah. awards with barbie right now like she is this is in high demand that's easily like over a hundred thousand dollars billion dollars just for that it's, it's easily a a, it's easily a trillion or so dollars but it's, so but it's, it's hundreds off. it's like at least a hundred grand so it's like just to throw the intro song in i think it was worth it i thought so because too. i it feel like it, it hooked it hooked the nation from was what it I'm the aware. Barbie song? What was I made? I don't think Which so. one was it for? But it was some, I don't know. I don't They're remember. They're all kind of magical. Her, her songs are always kind of, Absolute you know. magic. Well, suck me in. And, she, and they got me. They, <sighs> they got did. me with Billy. Um, but then we end up seeing that Joey actually has relocated. He is no longer in Hawaii. He is back in Philly with his family. Um, I just wanted to take note. Mm. I might have missed this. 
So I apologize if I did, but I'm pretty confident that all the family was there except for the uncle. I did not see the uncle. I didn't see the uncle. And all I'm telling you is that, you know, last last we saw Joey's family, the uncle was the main character. And that was like apparently Joey's BFF. All of a sudden he leaves Hawaii. There's no uncle in Philly. He was there, the cop the, block. The uncle. Well, the <laughs> they uncle, got rid of him. The uncle was not invited or our theories are correct. The uncle is not stoked about Joey finding a wife because he's like, where's my bestie. my wingman, my yeah. bestie. Because, you know, me and the ladies are always <laughs> killing it. Like, he's that guy. It's just like I could get all those girls over, but I just don't want to. So that's what I'm saying. The uncle is not. The uncle that, is not in support. Behind me. The uncle is not in support of this process. The yeah. sisters, mom and dad are like, please bring us a daughter. Bring us a sister. Yeah. And Uncle Joey is like, no, absolutely. Absolutely not. Not looking good. He's out. That's what but, it looked like, right? But yeah, look, he's out because he would have been there. I mean, he was the main character, like you said. So he would have been there if they invited him. I feel like he would have been in the limo. I feel like if the option was available, he would be front and he center. Would, no, he would have been next to him. Just being like, <laughs> so him okay. not being there yeah. makes me think, I want to know what's There's happening. There's been a fallout. There's been a fallout. Uh, you know, I don't know. I- <laughs> <laughs> they had a huge brawl. Now, one thing I will say about the Philly move, though, to be honest with you, yeah, is like if I was one of the girls, I'd be a little sad. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to date Joey in Hawaii. Yeah. But now I'm dating Joey in Philly. And no offense to Philly, <laughs> but it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not. I mean, sure, it's it's, it's the city of brotherly love or whatever. But <laughs> but like not necessarily doesn't have the same ring as Hawaii. You know what I mean? Like tennis pro in Philly. Philly doesn't have quite the same zing to it that it did in Hawaii shirt off like jumping in the water and surfing during the break it's now it's like going to get like cheesesteaks you know what I mean it doesn't quite have the same so anyway just kind of a thought I wonder what happened in Hawaii why we're not you know what I mean it's like it's Joey like, oh, from, I thought I signed I, I kind of for... signed up for the romantic thing like the package and half of that was the whole I get to live in Hawaii now, not it's 30 below in January. That's not exactly what I was going for. Well, I mean, way, where's Philadelphia? You know, oh <laughs> your geography skills, Evan's geography skills are, by the way, a negative 11. Like I, I've never seen this man. Like you pull up this, the United States of America map. He couldn't tell oh. you, it, you. He couldn't tell you. Is you it know, in Pennsylvania? Wait, where's Philadelphia? Yes. It's, Phil- it's Pennsylvania, right? Yes. That's what I thought. I just wanted to go <laughs> I, for Yeah. Yeah. This is all, this is the tri-state yeah. area to <laughs> yeah, tri-state. all over again. No, I have, to, I have the tri-state <laughs> area on my phone because yeah. I'm like, wait, I, I would, always think, is Pennsylvania in it? No, see, it's New see? York, New Jersey, Connecticut. But, uh, but you although felt, an increasing number of people who work in New York City commute from Pennsylvania. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So there's a Philly connection. There. Listen, listen, everybody. I don't know. He didn't make it clear in the intro package yeah. if Hawaii's off the table. I think he's just spent currently spending time in Philly with his family after everything that went down. Okay. Maybe I it's a way to kind of test to make sure that like girls are here for the right reasons, not just take it to Hawaii. <laughs> I could see it (laughs) if I was dating someone and they're like by the way if you date me we're gonna live in Hawaii like I would ignore some red flags for sure 100% you know what I mean I'd ignore some red flags absolutely valid response king (laughs) (laughs) so anyway sorry I'm just in a very derailing mood right now but let's continue back on our thing here saw his family in Philly and then he arrived at the mansion yes. with Jesse Palmer waiting for mm-hmm. him. These two were smiling at each other, both so big. It it's was a teeth a, off. It was an absolute teeth off. <laughs> and then there was a moment, whoa, 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 where two things happened. Number one, <laughs> I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> that, that was just like, oh, we got to restart the, the cyborg real quick. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> two things happened <laughs> number one joey called jesse jess strange we've never heard this before his name is jesse palmer this man's branded himself i was seeing photos of people posting him he's on avocado the cover of avocado carts in like or avocado displays. <laughs> I was say avocado magazine. I was, no. like, I was like, wait, why? why? <laughs> <laughs> Jesse Palmer on the cover of avocado magazine. <laughs> he is killing it. <laughs> <laughs> avocado Today did a feature on him. <laughs> no, but he literally is in the grocery store. The displays for avocados. He's on the cover of the display. Like, try this avo. 
So this man has branded himself. Okay? He's really coming in the advertising world from a strange, you know, <laughs> organic world. Okay, I got it. I mean, if anyone, I mean, I would love to sure. be part of the avocado world. But big he, avocado. Big avocado. But he, he's branded himself. Okay, this is Jesse Palmer. And Joey throws a jazz at him. And I, it has two things. Only two things are true. Number one, either Jesse Palmer hates it. And for the rest of the season, we will see him seethe. He's like, Joey thinks he's better than me. Uh, I remember Zach. Big brother him. I remember Zach. Zach was obsessed, right? Yeah. We were best friends. Joey, uh, Joey thinks he's way hotter and cooler than me. He's been seeing all those polls and he just throws a Jess at me. He disrespects and throws uh, a Jess on a Jesse. Or it just endeared. The only other option is that it just endeared Jesse Palmer to Joey so much where he's like, we're that close that you're giving me a nickname. So like the the, the closer you get, the shorter the name gets. So by the end, it's, it's you just call him a J it's for sure. J well, so we'll see. We'll J see squared. how we'll see J how squared. J squared. We'll yeah. see how this whole thing manifests. <laughs> okay. I'm just throwing this out that, there. That is weird for everybody to keep their eyeball on the relationship dynamic between Joey and Jesse. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Okay, got it. Then we have the women that yeah. come out of the limo. Mm -hmm. um, we have 32 women. We have more women than we've ever had, I believe, ever, they said. And I saw on Instagram that Rachel Recchia was uh, Insta-storying. And she's like, Joey got more women than Gabby and I got combined. <laughs> so that's so wrong. <laughs> Justice for Gabby and Rachel, who had to share a season and they still didn't give them 32 men. That's okay. actually kind of shocking. It's absolutely bananas. Um, but mm. let's talk about um, let's talk about some of the limo Stand entrances out that and, stood out to okay. us because there's just so many women. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the ones that popped because okay. There was just so many. Yeah. There was just so many. Um, but before that, we need to take a quick pause. But before the quick pause, I also need to address the elephant in the room. Okay. As Lauren and Allison would say. Okay. There's an yeah. elephant in the room. Yeah, the, yeah, okay. And I just realized this looking into the monitor. The elephant in the room is if you are watching the YouTube, yes, indeed, I do have bangs that are clip-on bangs. Okay? So... <laughs> I'm wearing clip-on bangs. I have a hair piece in and clip-on bangs. And I just have to address this as the elephant in the room for yeah. the YouTube watchers. I am a little self-conscious of them because um, I'll be real with you. They were like $5 clip-on bangs and a $5 hair piece. And I don't know what it looks like from the side. I think it looks so I keep thinking about it. Okay, I So love if I hair. look like a hot mess, I'm just putting that out there. Okay. You, you guys give a it's shout the out. elephant in the room. Shout out to support because I really like it. Thank you. I, I've been really wanting bangs lately, but I um, feel like bangs is too big of a decision. I've been making a lot of really bad decisions in my life lately. I feel like I've been oh, making wow. some big calls and they go terribly wrong. Got it. So I feel like maybe bangs, it wasn't the right time for bangs. So I got a cheap pair of clip on bangs. Yeah, because bangs is like a huge commitment. It's a huge commitment. And, and once I you go bangs, bangs, you never go back, at least for a while. And then if you decide that you're like not into bangs, you're stuck with bangs. <laughs> That's what I'm and I love bangs. I love bangs on everyone. I love bangs on myself. But I, again, I've been making some poor decisions lately. So I felt like it's not the time to go for bangs. What's shocking to me bangs. is the hair is the color matching. Thank you. Like, I it literally looks like your exact color. I appreciate that, that but that was that's ordered. why I was letting everybody know it's the elephant in the room because I don't know what it looks like no, it, on screen. No, yeah. And I also very much ha um don't know what like the back of me looks like. And so I'm just I'm just it's addressing vibes. the elephant in the room. All right. Should we take a pause? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Joey season and my clip on bangs. <laughs> Family, listen. All of these wonderful women are officially getting ready to stay in the mansion. They're getting ready to hit the road, traveling, all of it, okay? And if I could give them some advice, it would be to make sure to bring their AG1. Those AG1 travel packs are perfect to hit the road yes. with, okay? Listen, years ago, I first tried AG1 because I wanted to get in all of my daily supplements to support my gut health, immune system, brain, but I found myself not taking any because there were so many that I was supposed to take. And that's why I started drinking my AG1. Since drinking AG1 daily, I felt energized, strong, nourished. Yes, not only does AG1 deliver my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more, but it's a powerful, healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day. I can do that. Even me, I can do that. And I take it every day. It makes me feel great. <laughs> I definitely take it every day. Every day, 
or at least try to. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, we like to taste too. It's I know. delicious. I know. We've both been taking it for years now. It's so good. AG1 really does make it so simple too. Just one daily scoop of AG1 covers my nutrient gaps and supports my mental and physical health in just 60 seconds every morning. And here's the thing. It's, it was my birthday a few days ago. Yes, it was. I'm getting older. Uh-huh. Uh, aging is just a part of life yeah. and uh, we all have to deal with it. But I want to do the things that matter to me for as long as possible, like running around with my kiddo, which is why I drink AG1 every single morning to support my brain, gut, and immune health. Mm -hmm, It's true. I know with AG1, I'm giving my body high quality nutrition. Every batch of AG1 goes through a rigorous testing process so you know it's safe. And AG1 ingredients are sourced for absorption, potency, and nutrient density. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why we're excited to welcome them as a partner. If you want to take ownership of your health this year, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at Drink AG1 dot com slash mom and dad that's drink ag one dot com slash mom and dad check it out and again those those travel packs the ag one travel packs are life-changing incredible for me because i always forget things yeah. you know once so to have those around i, I throw them in my, my, work, my work bag yeah we've got them everywhere they're everywhere um all right time Onwards. to talk the ladies the ladies the absolute ladies okay so i will say this something that they did that i really liked is mm-hmm. they did kind of change the format up yeah because typically <clears throat> we see their pro some a few of the women or men's promo packages yeah. and we get to know them and then they do the limo i liked that they did a few promo packages for a few of the contestants while they were coming out of the limo that helped me kind of process who was who a little bit. Yes. You know? I agree. I agree. I liked how it was like, instead of having to come back to it. Yes. Like, oh, was that the one who we saw? Oh, that is her. Oh, yeah. It's just like, yeah, I liked it. It was spaced it out. Yes. A hundred percent. And we had first out of the limo, Lexi and mm-hmm. uh, Lexi got a promo package. We found out a little bit about her. Um, we found out about her health condition where she might not be able to have kids and she wants to have children. Um, but that she's ready to like dive into this chance to find love. A huge fan of her dogs. Lots of dog shots. Yes, Loves lots of that. dog shots. Um, and her her though intro for the first exit, it was just a sweet. Yeah. Hello, she was, how are you? Yeah, she was just like right down the middle. Very beautiful supermodel vibes. Yes. Golfing with dad, kissing my dog. You know, yes. like everything about her was very picturesque. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it was very like, you know. There was no like gimmicks and like craziness or like getting out and doing a thing. It was just like right to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I will say Lexi, we do have a moment later on in the episode where Joey and Lexi sit down and talk together. Yes. They do end up kissing. She's yes. not the first kiss, mm-hmm. um, but they do end up kissing. Evan and I both felt the same way. My guess is because the kiss did feel a little out of nowhere for me. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and she seems lovely, but it was just like, I, I wasn't necessarily feeling like, oh, they're about to start macking. Yeah, there wasn't like, they were both kind of chill. It was almost like they, we were both hot. We should just kiss, right? We should just do this because this is what we should do. It didn't say like, whoa, okay, I'm sensing a yeah. vibe here. I think Lexi is going to be who Joey is like so, so attracted to. Ah, okay. I think physically he's like got hard eyes for Lexi. Obviously we're going to get to know her more and see if they jive personality wise because she seems lovely. Um, But I think that Lexi is our individual who Mm. he's going to be like starry eyed about for most of the season. I got that energy right away. I felt like he was like, wow, she's beautiful. I think she's going to be around a long time. But then like once it gets whittled down to like, more connections i think she'll be gone so i think she's gonna be around because it's gonna be like there's gonna be nothing wrong with her at all and it's gonna be like she's picture perfect for me and then over time he'll find someone maybe that like there's more chemistry with yeah i didn't sense a lot of electricity with either of them no and she's really chill like him so sometimes i feel like we're gonna need a little something different understood yeah now i will say this like bachelor data always says the first uh person out of the limo they always last for a while. Right. It I could, just I could has, totally It just see historically her is how it is. Now, something that I saw Bachelor Data bring up, by the way, that you're going to love is the first impression rose. Apparently, with a bachelorette, the first impression rose is a big thing. Mm-hmm. Like the person who gets the first impression rose from the bachelorette 
they either are at the very end or are the final pick. The, for The Bachelor, the first impression rose is the quote unquote kiss of death. Yes. And they never go far. Isn't that interesting? That, that the guy picks somebody right away and it ends up not going being long term. And a typically um, a woman, the bachelorette, then will choose someone. It's like I right away can feel that you're going to be my person. Well, they think they got it in the bag almost, it feels like. And then they start spiraling and they're tripping and then they get no attention. And but like, I also think that that's very much a bachelor thing where yeah. it's like, OK, who maybe <clears throat> do I have a certain type of chemistry with right away yeah. versus like a long term chemistry like versus oh, uh, yeah. the bachelorettes are like, I can sense that you might be my person. Yeah, I, I think guys are a lot more just like. <laughs> Uh, uh, shit. <laughs> you. I talked to you last. First impression, last impression. You. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh. Um, but I think that Joey, I think Joey might be the one to break that. Yeah, because Joey he's so much is more calm. He's also well. He's mature. Mm -hmm. It seems uh -huh. he seems very in touch with his feelings mm -hmm. and emotions, which we love and support and appreciate. Um, even the way in which he chose who was going to get the first impression rose, who we can talk about. Yes. Uh, the way in which he did that, I was like, this might he might be our bachelor who breaks that rule oh, for the bachelor. Okay, I love that. Anywho, um, and then we had Rachel from Hawaii. She gives him a lay. She kind of bummed wonderful. she didn't say you know make like everyone else made these corny things. I was hoping it'd be like a. Uh, you know, they say here's get lay, but da, da, and then maybe later you get laid. I was hoping there'd be a little like <laughs> just silly, stupid nod wrong. to getting laid, but there was nothing. It was just very straightforward. And I thought mature. Yeah. <laughs> elegant, but not the bachelor. You know what I mean? Like I was ready for the and if you get lucky later, you might get a different type I feel of like laid. I heard, you know what I, mean? I heard something with laid. I don't know. No, maybe I, I was waiting for it and then it didn't no, come. No, I'm saying I thought there was a little nod. Maybe I got it wrong, but well, I thought no, there was a little nod. She's called, to it. It's called you know getting laid, but it wasn't there was never like but a, I thought they had like a little smirk at each uh, other. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Um but Rachel seems lovely. Uh after Rachel is Maria. Maria gets another promo package. Maria is a, the count the duchess of canada canada the the ontario dutch i had no idea there was a you know a a, a mont like a straight up king but apparently her dad is number one her dad might be the coolest guy to ever happen to the show yeah. and i'm really 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 hoping i really hope to go to hometowns we, need home I no, no, meet we that absolutely guy. need hometowns because this promo package someone was filming her a friend her mother i don't know who but was filming her and she was serving it so hard head over the shoulder the whole time just like model 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 walking through what looked to be like a glorious estate of her home like i mean the, it was a she state comes vibe from some serious money <laughs> i was getting that vibe no 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 not getting a vibe babe she was talking to her dad in the backyard that was expansive and all grass with massive hedges. And then she's wearing what looks just kind of like, I don't even know, but it's just very like elegant vibes. And then like she's walking through these like English gardens like of her salt home. Burn. No, it was it was hundred salt percent salt salt burn vibes. We gotta have a salt burn moment in here. And it was a salt burn. No, I just I love it. I'm like, we got we have to have it. It is part of it just has it was to just, happen. It was very like daddy. <laughs> will we be will we be going to Paris this weekend? Like that was the energy, and he's just smoking a cigar with his like wavy hair, and he's like, "Sweetheart, whatever you want, I have to. I have, I, have, I, have, I have to be in Paris on business." With the expanse behind him, his hair glorious, smoking a cigar during the promo package. Yeah. Okay, with a leg up, just lounging <laughs> like a god. And she has her Westie, her perfect Westie dog, her West Highland Terrier Prince yes. that she's talking to. I mean this. This woman is an icon and throughout this episode, we can jump to her yeah. throughout this episode. I was like, I'm obsessed. I wholeheartedly believe she will be a forever icon of this franchise. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. She, I thought she was going to show up in the house and be very much like drama starter energy because that promo package again she was at one point crawling on rocks like model shoot yeah. style okay so i'm like oh okay we're gonna get maria and she's gonna give it to us but throughout the drama in the episode she was the one who remained calm cool and collected and when jess came in later and was like i kissed him she was like listen girls we'll all get a chance and then when she sat with joey and I love that she was like, I'm not going to kiss him. <laughs> she, was yeah. him. <laughs> she, was, she was like, I would never do that because like so many other girls are kissing him. And she kisses him. 
I thought she was charming. Yes. I thought she had a mystery to her. Mystery. I thought she has a really cool look. Yes. She like does. her, her the way she like dresses. Her vibe her is vibe everything. Her vibe is really cool. Yeah. Kind of like reminds me of like a famous actress that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. Kind of vibe. Um, she's funny. She's quirky. Mm-hmm. Like to me, she kind of package deals so far. Big time. Here's the problem. Okay. Tennis lessons ain't gonna cut it. What like. Do you mean? She's coming from Saltburn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <clears throat> that's like, dad is going to be either really cool or impossible to please. I think that though, like, t- like Joey being a tennis pro is perfect. No, I think like, it's all very the family co- that friends is true. are that taking kind lessons of an from like thing. gorgeous Joey. Like, come on now. I that feel like it's true. perfect. I like the tennis lesson itself, but I'm like, I would just be so intimidated to date someone who comes from that world because yeah. it's just like, it's so, I mean, it looked so Again, we're elegant. we're assuming that, that this, but If you're it didn't not, I'm going to be that, sad just because yeah. I'm, I'm, I cannot wait for hometown. I want to go to wherever you live. But, but she was obsessed with horror movies. And so she kept like giving, like telling Joey, like, okay, tell me what your favorite horror movie is. Yeah. What was your favorite movie? Then he's like, remember the Titans? And she was like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. And then she was giving, she was giving him shit. Yeah. ABC used it as an opportunity to promote underneath. Remember the Titans on Disney plus that <laughs> yeah, was iconic. Literally popped up. That was iconic. <laughs> I loved that moment. Um, but she is captivating. And then when he gave her a rose during the rose ceremony, the way that she reacted she kind of messed was up so the whole order in, in a cute way. Yeah. And like she feels strong and charming and confident. But there is a big question mark for me. Is Maria our ultimate villain? Mm. She is so charismatic. We saw previews of her and Jess fighting. Yes. But I'm like, she's so charismatic. I could see her becoming the ultimate villain, but villain in the way that the audience is obsessed with her yeah. like not a villain that you're rooting against like the villain that you're kind of rooting for it's because more, the only reason that they're a villain is because they're so charismatic and charming that's what i was gonna say is it's like you're hated just because you like you hate us you hate us because you ain't us <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not because you're bad yeah but because 100%. i'm just better than you it yeah, drives yeah, you yeah, yeah, mental yeah, yeah. yeah you know what i mean not because i'm doing anything wrong it's just because i'm charming as shit yeah charming is eel um charming is shit and it's like i'm <laughs> that was a cringe reference sorry. by the way that, that was so random that was like an charming ember thing. as an eel <clears throat> ember says grinch. instead of saying charming as an eel in the grinch he goes charming as eel yeah anyway so <laughs> anyway a little family thing we're all family here so anyway yeah. um but yes i agree i could see her only ruffling feathers because like he likes her a lot and she's more charming than all of them yeah that's what I could see. But who knows? You know, we never know really what people are capable of. But like, I think the world it. is kind of obsessed with her after that episode. I think so. Like she, everything she about her draw. She is just draws you in. Yes. She draws you in. Excited. Oh, but Maria, by the way, came in. I can't believe we almost forgot this. Maria came in and put a uh, Canadian flag in Joey's pocket. They censored out the Canadian flag. What? <laughs> Made no sense. What? what? Censored it. I looked it up. Apparently, the Canadian flag is trademarked. So you can't use it. You can't use it to like sell things. Like you, they can't just put it on TV. Wowzer! You have to like. I don't do know you if you have, have to pay. pay I don't, yeah, I don't know. So like, I can't. I can't Canada. sell a Canada T-shirt. Apparently, I have to call. You know what? The government. Though, like, I feel then like a kind of my kind of am angry for. For the, for the sake of Canada, where we're willing to pay Billy, you know, however much money for that amazing intro song, but like, can we throw Canada a dime or two? We're going to censor out the flag. And I'm also like, like to our Canadian listeners, I'm sorry that you didn't get some shout out there. I know because you know we are huge Canadian fans. Canadians are the nicest people in the world. We know nicest that. Nicest people ever. I feel like also in this season, I feel Lots like a lot of, of people Canadians. are from Canadians, and which is perfect because Joey's so nice and we yeah. love a Canadian. Um, okay, but then we had Erica who came out with the speaker system and was dancing. I loved that intro. Yep, that Erica. Was fun has big long-term energy to me. She had one of the best personalities by a mile. She was so no she was about so it. bubbly, amazing personality. I loved her intro package talking about her family and her just bringing in the speaker to dance up to him. She's stunning. Yeah. I mean, she to me is She'll like She'll be up there. She'll be up there. She'll, she's going to go far. She's got to go she far. She has to. I mean, she just Yeah, not even close. They had a great one-on-one moment mm-hmm. too. I don't they think were, they kissed though. Mm, no because she was one of the first ones yeah wasn't she one of the first ones yes at least that's how we <clears throat> saw it and i think you warm up because it was like autumn was one of the first ones and then like eric yeah. and then like erica and i think and then he, then he started kissing people you know what i mean like <laughs> kind of three or four and then he starts kissing the role. but i think if you're first or second you're generally not going to get a kiss because it's kind of like 
I'm nervous. We're just sitting down for the first time. I haven't warmed up yet. A hundred percent. Um, next we had Autumn. Speaking yeah. of Autumn, who th- comes out of the of the limo and throws rose petals in the air. The no, camera. Autumn leaves. Was that what it was? Yes, it was like fall leaves. It okay. wasn't rose petals. Well, you know what? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Because the camera shot away, like did a far shot, and you couldn't tell what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> Devastating for her intro. Like yeah. instead of giving her her moment, instead of giving her her moment, they zoomed away, and then you just kind of saw things flinging everywhere, yeah. and you were like, "What?" They were the same happening? colors the driveway, so you could kind of see it. Like, but it what? Yeah. And then bless her soul. She is just the most pure energy that has ever existed. Yeah. She's just maple syrup covering a cake yeah. on a unicorn birthday plate platform. <laughs> right, like right, that's right, right. autumn, you know? <clears throat> and she comes up and she's trying to do this thing with him where she's like, What's your favorite season? And he's like, Spring, Spring. summer. Maybe winter. He doesn't say that, but he literally was like named he named he created seasons and he never said autumn. And she's like, Well, I think that maybe we are going to talk about um, uh, maybe a season that you're going to love. And, and then she starts, I'm like, what is she saying? I think she And then she's like, my name is Autumn. <laughs> oh, no. And my heart hurt because it was so. Well, my name's Autumn and you're going to fall nerve- for me or something. And I just it thought was so there nervous. was a couple of these moments where like the ladies clearly didn't think about whether he did. He wouldn't say exactly what they were hoping he'd say. 100%. And Autumn was one of those where it's like she, she it's almost like she's she comes from a place where every person's favorite season is fall. <laughs> so she couldn't, it's like, you know what, you know, you know, she was like Buddy the Elf. Yeah, but she lived in the fall. And she's kind of like, what do you mean you don't believe in Santa? And she's kind of like, well, everyone loves fall where I live. And then like, didn't think about the fact that he lives in Hawaii and like, I don't know, summer. And she's like, oh, I didn't expect him to say this. Um, Damn. <laughs> well, just hopefully you'll, you'll like fall and you'll fall for me and my name's autumn and everybody's like what oh. and he's like oh okay You're nice so to meet right. you in the way that she said it though she was it to me it, it was like she was work. so she was the most nervous it to me work. but what was crazy is when they talked later i looked at you and i go the most nervous person to exit that limo in my opinion was autumn i was she i, was I felt nervous. very flustered watching it yeah and then she sits down with him fully new person yeah like so tell me everything about yourself and like they had a, a great long conversation and she was enforcing the conversation in yeah. like a bold way so i'm like i don't know if we had a glass of champagne yeah i don't know if someone popped in and sat next door and was like by the way my favorite season is fall and she's like oh thank god and she yeah, felt comfortable. Someone, yeah <laughs> someone reinforced it but that that threw me for a loop because i was like we went from scared to confident and by, and by the way, no one's ever said like Joey. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never heard anyone say spring's my favorite. It's usually fall because of leaves. It's summer because of like we're having fun outside. Or winter, I like snowboarding. Spring's a strange one. You know, right? What I, you say spring's I would say the say last I, one you'd ever I would say. say. I agree with you, but I will say if we actually think about it, spring slaps. Spring is like you get a little bit of rain, but then you get the warm days. The flowers are blooming. It's like the tinge of summer is in the air. Yeah, is spring when it's very sexy. Is when everything blooms. Spring, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and it's when the winter is over. The winter is uh, over. But we don't experience winter here in. Yeah, Hawaii. I guess that's maybe <laughs> the <laughs> issue. Is like when spring you're not... is so magical. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yes, I guess if you live in Philly, spring is pretty lit. Probably. <laughs> spring sounds great. <laughs> anyway, before we keep going over these ladies, let's take yes. one more pause. One more pause, family. Listen. I'll be fully frank with you all. I have a lot of bad habits. Okay, I can't lie. I've got a lot of bad habits. And I'll say for me, cold turkey may be great on a sandwich, okay? But sometimes there's a better way to break your bad habits than the cold Mm. turkey of it all, okay? We're not talking about some trippy mind tricks from your neighbor who doesn't understand boundaries, you know, the mind surgeon or whatever, um, or using that Joey (laughs) doll (laughs) that Kelsey brought. (laughs) We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. I got to tell you all, I have numerous friends who have been using Fume for quite some time and they have greatly benefited from it. I actually very much enjoy it as well. Yeah. It's helped me. A lot of people I work with 
also use yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of vapor, fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses delicious flavors. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. Mm -hmm. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is super helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit, yes. which I think is such an amazing added thoughtful touch to that, mm -hmm. right? I think mm -hmm. it's so mm -hmm. cool. And it also feels and looks nice. It's well-weighted, perfectly balanced, and again, extremely fun to fidget with. And on top of it, it really looks gorgeous with this real wood and the shape. It looks so nice. And but of course, the taste. It's fresh. Think of refreshing herbal tea. If vapor was compared to sticky soda, fume flavors would be compared to herbal tea. Not as sweet and a lot more natural, like their mint core, their orange vanilla core, maple pepper. Oh, and also make sure to check out the new Solana fume. It's made with a premium walnut barrel and an onyx coated mouthpiece that has a slightly softer finish. Gorgeous. Right now is the best time to start the good habit with fume. All orders for the month of January have buy one, get one cores so you can stock up for that New Year's resolution. Plus, as a listener of the show, you get an extra 10% off when you use our code. Head to try fume. By the way, fume is spelled F U M. So head to try fume dot com slash your and use our code your for an additional 10% off plus BOGO cores until January 31st to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Tryfume.com slash your. Okay, let's keep this train a moving, which yes. by the way, it looks like now what we're doing actually is we're just scrolling through all of the uh, the women and then talking about their moments with Joey. Absolutely. Let's just talking about them. Way holy yeah as a as a whole yes as a full. um okay next we have kelsey a um and she brings the like the voodoo, the doll, voodoo doll of joey we get an intro package about kelsey um we find out that she is was is very close to her family and she did lose her mom recently mm -hmm. um, pageant queen we did see like a pageant queen yep. photo she talks about that she doesn't like bad boys which, which by the way evan right away she goes, likes bad boys <laughs> which i don't i don't agree with that I, I, you know, why normally, would you make it a point to say that? Because every person I know who specifically says they don't like bad boys actually doesn't go for bad boys. See, I think it's one of those. I've dated a million. I'm over them now. That's what she's saying. I've know. dated the bad boys. I realize I don't like the bad boys. <laughs> so not do you that think, I, not that I actually don't like bad boys. <laughs> so do you think that Kelsey a, that Joey might be too much of a nice guy for her? Yes. Do you think Kelsey A is the one who leaves? We see that note uh, later in the preview that says, I think I'm leaving. Do you think Kelsey A is like, he's just not cutting it for me and she pieces out? I mean, uh, you know, who knows? Oh, that was Kelsey A. Sorry. Yes. In my head, I was, I, I pictured someone else's face just for a moment. Yeah. Well, Ye there's 32. <laughs> yeah. Just for a moment. Oh, yes. Kelsey A. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see them having a crazy love affair. Because, first of all, we saw a little clip of it, but also <laughs> she does have a spark to her. Yeah. And I think he's going to be very attracted to her. Yeah. Um, I, I think that is a great guess. She's the one who leaves. She's the one that gets right all the way down to the end. But and do leave. you think it's because she's like, I don't quote unquote like bad boys. He just doesn't bring enough. You know what? I don't of that danger that to the might table be for her. Like if you're so honest with yourself, but I think it's going to be like, I couldn't get as far into love as he is. Oh, and that's going to okay. be how she feels and says it. All right. But in reality is she's missing a little bit of spice, a little danger. Okay. Because isn't that what we all love? Oh my God. You know what I mean? You want it. <laughs> all right. Next. Next is Carissa, who, by the way, shout out. Carissa is my my soul sister, who mm -hmm. also, when we found out in the cast bios, also does not know how to ride a bike. So I feel a deep soul connection to Carissa. Yeah. Um, I loved her energy right out the gate. Uh -huh. Carissa has great energy. Positive, sweet. She's positive. Bubbly. She's beautiful. I wonder, though, she hits me as someone who is just like sweet and you kind of get you, you know what I mean? She she's like, what you see is what you get. Sweet, kind, upfront. So I don't know. I think sometimes you need a little bit of, okay. sometimes you need a little like, you know, 
how to play the game, if that makes understood, sense. Understood, understood. Okay, we shall see. Um, then we had Chandler mm -hmm. with the line, your name is Joey and mine's Chandler and I'll be there for you. I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, a, an One of the only wow. actually clever lines that was set out, as we will see going forward, hey. There it was were an so abomination. Many, <laughs> there were so many horrific puns. This one actually just, made sense. <laughs> there were so many horrific puns later in this that God bless were just thrown out that were like, <laughs> yeah, it works, but like from where and why? Oh, I would disagree. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess technically the it two technically words worked. worked. Like, yeah, we'll get into it. I'm pissed. But this one made sense. Your name is this. His name is this. Here's a connection about a show. Cute, fun. Everyone loves the show. I was Easy. also absolutely cracking up because Rob Mills, who is a producer of yeah. the show, tweeted. I saw that he tweeted and said the Friends reference went over Joey's head. And I was like, I wonder if there are some people who this is a young cast, right? It's also a very Joey thing to have a goes. Maybe that he, I think he also did a double entendre there, right? Is that what you're saying? Or I think there's <laughs> no, a, but I, I think like that. Like that Joey <laughs> wouldn't have understood it. Yeah. So it's actually perfect. He didn't get it because he's never seen the show. And he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so it's like a double entendre of Joey, which is Think epic. about this. If you don't watch Friends and you don't know that reference and someone comes up to you and goes, my name's Chandler, your name is Joey, so I'll be there for you. You'd be like, what? what? Be like saying, my name's Evan, your name's Jessica, and I'll support you. You're like, you're like, you're like <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That, wor that, that works for me. Be, that it's, would good, be, it's good to know. That, that would okay. be <laughs> very strange. But I'm so bummed because he sent Chandler home and Chandler in our cast bio episode was who I was like, that's going to be his number one. Mm. So I guess yeah, I'm immediately wrong. Quick. Uh, did I ever say who mine was? I don't remember. Mm. I have to look, go back. But Chandler, shout out. Maybe we'll see you on the beach. Maybe we'll see you on the beach. Maybe we'll see um, you. Then we, okay. Then we have a... a chunk of women bam, bam, bam. who we didn't see them for more than two seconds we see marlena star uh Tayla, nat sandra sam and then we get to allison mm -hmm. and allison is part one of the sister yes. duo yes okay and i don't mean to toot our horns over here uh -huh. but when i say we nailed the dynamic between we these two sisters the dynamic. we <laughs> Nailed the dynamic. Okay. Like, I don't know. I'm feeling cocky saying it. I don't think we could have nailed it better. It's dead on. It's dead on. We got Allison, you know, drawing the heart around his name, kissing, kissing it. it. Joey and Allison. Um, it's very like young love. They're overplaying the cuteness of the whole Disney thing. Princess, Disney princess. Big, big smile. And then we go to Lauren, the older sister. And she's more shotgun. You know, she does the shotgun, the beer challenge. But right away, we sense the insecurity about the younger sister. It, because the the, oh. the the Alice and the younger sister is being like, and I'm here with my sister. I know it's a little different, but you know it should be fun. And then Lauren's immediately like, if she gets the kiss first, I'm going to lose my shit. Like she immediately <laughs> oh, it's is, wild. it's all about Allison. It's, she can't even if you see Joey. That. It's all about Allison. Allison's all about Joey. Yes. Lauren's all about Allison, <laughs> yes. which we called, we said, the younger sister is going to be like, my older sister is so nice. Yeah. And it's just, I, my sister is so smart and she's just, maybe, yeah, maybe she's not as pretty as me, but like, I don't see the problem. Like just this kind of like, and the older sister's just like, <gasps> like that is what we saw. We saw Lauren losing it. Literally, literally all that Lauren could see was Allison. She was absolutely obsessed with the fact that that woman better not kiss Joey first. She better not look at Joey first to the point that Joey gives Allison the first rose in the rose ceremony, which I thought was, you know, it was a great, it was a great touch. And then Lauren gets the last rose in the rose ceremony. And Lauren walks up and goes, yeah, like nice fucking move. Giving me the last. That was rose. a wild. Like, like she, instead of being happy to be there, she was more pissed that her younger sister Everyone, got the like, rose. Everyone like gasped. They're like, "You don't talk. To, you don't knock in the back." The dynamic like is like this. The dynamic is like this. If Lauren dated a guy first, yes. Then Allison dated him after. Yes. Lauren would be pissed because Allison. It, because Allison's saying, well, you know, he knew what he really wanted and he, he wanted something that was better for him and uh -huh. find the right fit. If Allison dated him first and Lauren got him second, yes. then it would be like my sloppy seconds. Yes. So either it's way lose, you lose. lose. You know what I mean? Like either <laughs> way, lose, lose. Allison will always win over you and drive you absolutely <laughs> mental. Yes. And so it's like Allison's kind of like the sweet, perfect one. And then 
but is doing stuff to drive you mental. So like Laura's well, it's the one- very like younger, the youngest child yes. energy, right? Where like, you know, she never got in trouble and parents thought she was perfect. And Lauren probably worked her ass off yes. to be perfect for her parents. But they were always like, well, Allison's so perfect. Yes. So we have. Why Allison, can't you be more like Allison? Yes. Why can't. And, and, and Allison just comes in and kind of floats in and is like Disney princess fairy. And then Lauren comes in and is like, let's shotgun a beer. And all she talks about is being from Philly. Yes. Kind of iconic. Kind of iconic. I kind of <laughs> love it. But at the same time, Allison comes in and then steals him from her. So Lauren's in the middle of a date. Middle of the date with Joey. First interaction. Mm hmm. Her own sister, Allison, Miss per Miss Perfect, comes by, interrupts their date. Yes, right when then, they're about to potentially kiss, even though Joey wasn't vibing. She makes out with him. <laughs> Later on, we see the Taylor Jess situation happen. Yeah. And everyone's like, whoa. Allison did that to her own sister, mm -hmm. which is it's brutal. the most brutal move it's you so could brutal. ever do to anyone yeah. on the show already, yeah. <laughs> let alone your own family. Yeah. I'm going to say this. You know what? This is my, these are my hopes and dreams for Allison and Lauren. I feel like maybe some really great family therapy conversations came after that while we're <laughs> now watching this show. Now that, now that the world will see, maybe there's a little bit like, hey, it's time to, you know, maybe hash some things out that are very underlying. Because even when the two of them would be together, the dynamic was like, oh, we love each other and we hate each other. Like it was so tense. So they go in, mm. by the way. And Allison and Lauren both decide that they're like, we're not going to tell oh, anybody. We're not going to tell anybody that we're sisters. So we're not going to tell the women and we're not going to tell Joey, which I will say I totally understood from the Joey perspective that it's like, yeah, I don't want I don't you to cloud your judgment as a sister. That's like the sister of when they decide not to tell the women. I at first was going, I wonder if the women will respond in a way that's like, oh, we can't trust them when they decide to reveal it. But they can't contain themselves and they reveal it an hour in, okay? And they walk in hand in hand and they're like, you guys, there's been an elephant in the room this whole time. And the elephant was honestly as big as my clip on bangs. Like nobody fucking cares, right? Nobody and, cares. And there is no elephant in the room because no one knows it's there. No the elephant it's in there. the room is if something is there and no one has talked about exactly. it and it's driving everyone mental. Yeah. It's the elephant in your room, Allison and Lauren. No yes. one else is aware of this. No one else knows. So it's not like there's no there's no there was no build up to this. And literally the response is this. They go, here's the elephant in the room, guys. Okay, we're sisters. And like the reaction was this. Ew. <laughs> like everyone, Literally, first of all, it was like, oh, okay. Everyone, and then some people are like, why? Yeah, no, everyone was just like, oh, uh, at first it was like, okay. And then everyone after was like, oh, why are you guys trying to date the same guy? Like, why? Why would you do this Lauren to each other? Thought everyone was gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> get over here, girls! You guys are crazy." That's what they. That, but instead, it was like, "It's kind of gross." <laughs> all, of them, all of them were just like, "Oh!" And then they were like, "They're like, is that legal?" And they're, I don't they're, know if that's like, legal. They're like, have you, "Have you dated the same guy before?" And they're like, "There has been some crossover." Yeah. And everyone was like, "Oh God, this is <laughs> like, not cool not, or interesting. This was, is just disturbing." Yeah, and then and then and then it they told an Joey, reaction. and they're like, hey, "Joey, we have something to tell you too. It's kind of crazy." They sit on either side of him, and like, "We're sisters." He's like, "Yeah, I gathered that much." And they're like, "Oh, really? Okay. Uh, well, we'll talk to you later." Like, it was just a brutally unnecessary <laughs> no, secret. Literally. And by the way, Allison's making out with Joey. Lauren interrupts him, goes on his other side. So he, it's a Joey sandwich, and he's in the middle, and they're both just staring at him. Allison interrupts Lauren. Allison then makes out with Joey. Mid makeout, Lauren re interrupts Allison. Sit on either side and be like, by the way, we're sisters. To drop, <laughs> like, <laughs> by the way, we're sisters. This is way too much. I don't know to, what. To tell Joey and the fact, by the way, that Joey responds, Yeah, I gathered that absolutely destroyed me because he's like, It's like, yeah, but of course you can't get anything past Joey. He doesn't blink. Okay, <laughs> nothing goes past this man. He's like, Yeah, I gathered that the whole time. And they're like, like hey, Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, one of the sisters, lie about where you live. Don't say the same place. Right after. They both just said this specific place in Philly. And he's like, oh. And on top of it, too, you're like, Joey's like, I gathered that when the producers pulled me aside and said, make sure you kiss Allison. Yeah, because <laughs> like, it'll drive more in mental because like, yeah, they live together because they're sisters. <laughs> when they told me that, yeah, I picked I up assumed, on that. Yeah, that was insane. So anywho, they're still around. And I genuinely cannot wait to watch that absolute just bananas drama go down i saw a lot of people being like i'm already over this drama i'm not i love it okay i love this drama and the producers know the second that they casted allison and lauren because it's so obvious that 
Allison drives Lauren absolutely nuts. Yeah. And obviously Lauren will go home or they'll put them on a two on two on one. Oh, of course they're going to do a two on one. It'll be a two on one date and of one course. person has to get sent home of and course. Joey will send home Lauren. Yes. And it's going to be like a if you don't come home with me, Allison, we're done. We're and no if, longer family. And if like, Allison it's gonna be makes so it to brutal. hometowns, Lauren will be there. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> Anywho, that's that's the lore yeah. of uh, of Lord and Allison right now, and I really, really am excited for more. And I do hope that we have a hometown situation because that is messy. Yeah, so it's messy. so strange. It'll just be it'll just be a countdown to when Lauren snaps. One hundred percent. It'll just be when Lauren gets too drunk and then does something crazy. <laughs> that's just when it'll be. <clears throat> well, after um, we meet Lauren and Allison, then we meet Caitlin, who is our radio uh -huh. chemist, chemist, who um, says, pour this and this, and then it bubbles up. And it yes, has chemistry. a tray of chemicals yeah. they put on the goggles. She does the full lava thing, yeah. you know, when mm -hmm. you're like in second grade, which it was we cute. love. It was cute. And then she's like, oh, look, we have chemistry. Right, right. It was corny, but it was cute, but it also made sense. Yeah, it was perfect. Beautiful. Um, then we have Kelsey T., Okay, Kelsey T in the cast bios of it all was um, a woman that I was like, you and I both said, we're yeah. like, this is going to, Kelsey T is going to go far. She's got the it factor. It jumps off the page. And I'm, I'm going to stand by this because Kelsey T was one of the individuals who came out of the limo. And the second that we saw her face, they had immediate chemistry from like, 20 yards away and she didn't do a shtick there was no there was no little moment there was no little here's a quip line here's a weird thing it was just walk right up hi how you doing and flirty vibe get in the house but a lot which of i people, feel like is always really effective it is but a lot of people didn't do that but there was something about kelsey t the way that the camera hit her you could see their chemistry yeah. immediately okay and here's another little nugget everybody Unless I'm forgetting, which, by the way, I totally might be. But I don't think we really saw any extended moment with Kelsey T and Joey. No. But Joey gave her the rose, the third rose in right, the rose early, ceremony. Early and we didn't process. see a moment kind with them. Kind of a them. shoe in. I think that Kelsey T is our sleeper. And I think we're going to get to know her very well. Okay. And that she's going to be high up in the high ranking. In the because of the way that the show made it so that we didn't really see a lot of Kelsey T. But we saw that intense chemistry right away. We saw her in a few ITMs, and then he gave her a rose, and they didn't show their time together. It was super just like, here's I don't a rose, know. get that's, in. That's yeah, sus to me. Um, then we have Jen, who shows up, who rips out in that go-kart. Um, no idea and, why. Well, that was, okay, that was <laughs> someone like, are you who... A, are you a professional racer? No. Do you own a go-kart company? No. <laughs> is it your favorite thing to do? No. This is this is where we start getting into like the what is going on. This is on. the puns. So she comes up and then she goes, I had to race over here when I found out you were the bachelor. And you were like, it works, <laughs> but also we're stretching to use a go-kart. Okay. So let's let's talk about a couple of these. Okay. Because I have a theory. All right. Can I say this quick though? Yeah. About Jen. Yeah. Jen's another one. We get to know a little more with Joey. They have a sit down together after racing around. He yeah. loves her. She is Jen is stunning, right. stunning and very charming. Very and she's charming. also very charismatic. Yes. And she is his second kiss. Yes. Jess is his first kiss. And I was really hoping after Jess told everybody about their first kiss that because he kissed Jen right after, I was hoping that Jen was going to pop in and be like, I just kissed him and that Jess was going to crumble. Spiral, yes. Anywho, Jess definitely has like the longevity in this competition energy to me. Oh, yeah. She also gives me big par uh, Bachelor in Paradise energy. Jess is classic. Or, sorry, sorry, Jen. Oh, Jen, got it. I was going to say Jen is longevity in yeah, this and okay. I think she's Bachelor in Paradise energy to me. Got it. I like that. Um. Okay, but back to what starts to happen here. So she's like, I'm in a golf cart yeah. and I had to race over here. Or a little, a little like, um, not a golf cart, but a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a go kart. Go kart. Go kart. Go -kart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then Jess, Jess shows up in a boat driven by a car. Yeah. And she goes, Hey captain, heard you're looking for a new relationship. And right. I'm like, okay, again, just to use cool. the boat. Do you work on a boat? No. Do you own boats? No. Does he work on a boat? No. Is he a fisherman? Nope. What is happening? What do you? T why is there a boat? It's like we and why are you making boat? boat puns? <laughs> and why are you calling him captain? <laughs> why is he a captain? There's no connection to either of you regarding. Do you know this. what I just remembered? What? When we saw Jess mm -hmm. in uh, the cast bios, yeah. I said that she worked. Uh, that she was going to be from below deck. 
Oh, right. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, that is oh. weird. Which she's not. <laughs> Which she's not. But that's weird that she showed up on a boat. Yeah, right, am I right. right? Okay, that was some, that's some psychic shit. That All is right, some sorry, psychic go ahead. shit. But whoa, okay, I just blew my own mind. Um, <laughs> right. Wow. That that actually is crazy. That's bizarre. All the things she could come in on. Sense. It didn't even make any sense. It doesn't yeah. make any sense unless we find out that she's a huge boat enthusiast, which we didn't. So right. This is when we first see Lauren's shade. This is when Lauren starts throwing the shade out. She's like, "What is it? Like, is it coming yeah, in a boat? We're getting some shade." Swear Boring. seeing and okay interesting and then Lainey walks out yep and she goes will you go on this journey with me and she's holding cheese whiz cheese whiz and does she it. own a cheese company no <laughs> does he own a cheese company no do they both work at restaurants are they italian do they work in italian restaurants no um <laughs> Does her dad, do they, do they live in Green Bay? No. Do they love the Goofy <clears throat> movie? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, I guess a, like Cheese Whiz is like a Philly thing. Like a cheesesteak thing. Oh, uh, ed- edit that out. <laughs> 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 it's still pretty much a stretch. It's <laughs> uh, Lee, edit, edit yourself out. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, think Lee, I think Lee's right. And I think yeah, Lee's okay, fine. Sense. Okay, fine. But still. But still a reach. Like, I, okay, like you said, I guess cheese was kind of. Okay. Then we have Edwina, who I loved her intro because she's like, I have something hot from home to give you. And she like feeds him and they have like a yeah. food play moment oh, sure, that they get sure. to talk about later. But then right after we have Samantha who throws dough at him, yes. do, just dough, yes. and says, now that you have the dough, I hope you can see I'm someone you need. Yeah. Oh now, from again, what I'm aware of. Does she own a pizza pizza company? They're not big pizza Does people. He, no. Are they from New York? No. No. I, I mean, I, I mean, don't. Pizza Pete at least owned a pizza company. So when he made pizza references constantly, it made fucking sense. I feel like so triggered when you say Pizza Pete. <laughs> But I'm just saying, right? It's I mean, true. he owned a pizza shop, so he was Todd Collins. I get it. There so it is. So when he flung dough, oh my God, you know when, when Pizza Pete was watching the show and see Samantha come up and throws he dough. You know so he slid immediately crazy. into Samantha's He's like, DMs. speaking of dough. <laughs> gross. I don't even know why that's gross. Yeah, I don't, you, you turn that gross. I didn't. <laughs> you can knead this dough anytime. That's what he's Ew, probably gross. saying. Um, and then Taylor yeah. shows up and she chucks a massive piece of cloth at him. Massive. You can't even tell what it is. Throws it at him and he's like, uh, what is this? Holds it up. It's a giant bra. Huge bra. Like a bra. bra that's like six feet by three feet. Okay. Like, like if you, if you look at for my, Z, my Z heads out there. A flag there, sized bra. The, the type of bra that would go on one of the fairies. <laughs> that is one of the great fairies. One of the great fairies. Yeah. If you upgrade your... Um, <laughs> Armor, armor. armor. <laughs> your, yeah. If you upgrade your uh, your your outfits, then that's the kind of bra. Yes, Huge. Yes. Yes. Just for like for someone who's potentially twenty feet tall, yes. thirty feet tall, a giant perhaps. bra. Yes. Yes. A thousand percent. <laughs> Throws a bra at him and says, "I'm here for the massive support." Now, does she own a bra company? No. Does she own <laughs> an underwear company? Wait, no. None of things. So this is kind of the end of like the insane moments. She should have said, it's like my cup. She should have said, you're the tits. Or throw them right, at him and yeah, be like, because you're the tits, right? right? But I mean, like, kind of, yeah, just even something related. Now, again, here's the bottom line. I'm talking on my ass because Lord knows I'd probably do something. Like, I'd be like, oh, here's a funny pun. And it just wouldn't land yeah. because I'd be like, well, I'm going to try to make this work. But the fact that we saw one after another yeah. after another that didn't corroborate with anything about Joey no or about them, or the that I was like, what's happening? Here's what I, here's my, I thought about it. We're and just I was pun like, happy. I think I figured it out. If it's a pun, I don't even know. They were at the ABC lot. Yeah. They were getting rid of a bunch of props yep, from yep. other shows. Yep. And they're like, by the way, you can grab any of these if anything's kind of makes sense to you. And so they each got a, they were able to just grab a prop. And so I don't know why, what's her name? Grab the dough. I'm sure there was better options. But, <laughs> or the massive prop. But the massive prop at least is like a thing, right? Like clearly there was a giant on a show. There was some sort of giant prop and like they had a bra on. And they're like, well, you could grab the bra. And she's like, that's kind of funny. I'll figure out a way to make a pun out of it. <laughs> You go kart the whole thing, but it, the only thing I can think of is that they had a bunch of just old shit laying around, and they yeah, had to yeah, fix yeah, them because yeah. there's, no, there's no way they like were calling around for a go kart. Yes, and they're like, "This is worth it." <laughs> there's no that we're like, "Oh, someone go to Trader Joe's and get the pre-made dough." <laughs> no one was like, "Hey, hey, costume department, can you spend two days building a large bra?" No, 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 not that large, fifty times the size of that bra. <laughs> Like, there's no way any of those things happened. It had to be laying around no, at right, the mansion right, or something. You're right. You're right. I think you're right. I think you're right. Well, then next what we get is I think what was your favorite entrance. Yes. Kira, Kyra, 
um, Kira Kyra, oh, um, yeah. who walks up to Joey. I don't think Evan, <laughs> Evan has so never good. been like more obsessed with an entrance ever. She walks up to Joey and she goes, want to hear something crazy? <laughs> that's, that's all. It. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and, do you want to hear something crazy? It wasn't crazy? that it was more the idea of doing that as a pickup line is one of my all time favorites. Like walk up to a girl at a bar and go, do you want to hear something crazy? And just go, <laughs> And they're like, holy shit. Like, that is crazy. That is an, such a memorable pickup line to me. Do you want to hear something crazy? Because you'd go, yeah, what? And then you just do something weird. Like, yeah. I think this was that such... to me. I don't know why I started laughing no, so hard. He but could I just not stop dying. laughing with the idea of doing that to someone as a Dude, pickup line. And by the way, I, I wish think... I was single just for a day so I could try that. I, I give you full permission. <laughs> okay, right. um, but but i feel like kira or kyra had such a missed opportunity because she's like do you want to hear something crazy and she just went ah! and it was good don't get me wrong but like if she would have like given it her all like left it all out on the stage mm -hmm. i feel like it could have been one of the bigger moments in the show yeah. like if she screamed and for like snarled so her face long, like, yeah. i was like ah! <laughs> something absolutely yeah, wild like, and went so fucking hard in the paint with it <laughs> and went for so long that like it, there's just crickets in the background i feel like that would have been like the clip yeah. of the intros for i don't know i just felt like yeah. it was a missed opportunity the right person could because have done it, it but she it, wasn't it the had right one. that, that it had mm -hmm. that the judge to it and then we have zoe and this was Whoa, 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 wild to me. Yeah, that, I didn't like this one. No, I was not a fan either because I just felt like it was just it's <laughs> awkward, not an appropriate thing to do to, to, to somebody on public television. So weird. Um, uh, Zoe brought out a platter and she opened it and she said, "Can you tell me which one of these, or which one would you say resonates with you?" And it was all different sizes of bananas. <laughs> like it was bananas cut in half, cut down to a quarter, a full and banana. And I was right? like, hey, guys, like, let's not do this. Well, okay, it's my just issue not. is this. <laughs> if he like clearly she I think she had a line for one of the bananas that she's hoping he would choose, like the full one, probably. Right. Uh -huh. She probably had a line for that. Yeah. But she, she didn't think about the fact he might not choose that. So then she brings out different size bananas and his brain's going, well, OK, if I choose the big one, then I'm like. Bragging. obnoxious guy if i choose the small one then it feels like i'm shaming then i'm kind like I'm of like fun of making fun of it I, I don't if i choose the middle one then it's just kind of like basic response to it i don't know what she's trying to get out of this i don't know like making it all about dick size is kind of weird yeah, yeah if you're not yeah. complex so then so he picks like the middle one or like the you know like whatever one that looks and then she literally just goes, oh, okay, I'll see you in there. Like, it was just like... <laughs> yeah, because he just chose, like, the middle size. Yeah, like, middle size. And it's like, hey, have a line for any of them. <laughs> like, if it's the small one, be like, it doesn't matter. It's the motion of the ocean. If it's the big one, be like, oh, wow, well, isn't it, isn't it my birthday? It might, have a might. line for everyone, but don't just sure. go... I'll see you in there. <laughs> like, yeah. like you literally just wanted to check dick size and be like, cool. All right. Thank you. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> like you're doing Can you it like imagine it. if we like sexualize it and it was just because I remember it says that Zoe was an artist and it was just like an art form to her. She's like, which one resonates with you, honey? Yeah. Like which one this of these beautiful people. bananas like reson like it was just like it an art so experiment. Random. Like it was just it had nothing to do. It wasn't like sexualizing at all. But no, it was I, so awkward. He I could tell that it immediately he tightened up so fast. Got her, like it, he he wrote her off because of that because he was like, that was such an awkward thing i could almost just be like worried well, we don't again, speak the same language it, it would be it would be something that would it would feel different if it was like there was a shtick about joey in the show and it was like oh joey is known for being the guy who always is talking about his dick like right i, mean, I don't know like there's yeah. a reference but it's like no reference to dick yeah, size it, it, it's it, so it just, random it just felt, felt like it just wasn't it just wasn't it was it. uncomfortable it i guess that's it. the way yes. i would say and then kayla was like moaning in the car and said that it was a tennis grunting um evelyn oh evelyn rolls up in an umpire chair it's so tall i think yeah. it's called an umpire chair in tennis i don't know, I don't know. um joey thinks Referee. it's a joey thinks it's a lifeguard tower so he's not connected <laughs> to us that she's doing a tennis reference yeah. which made me feel really bad for evelyn because it was like this actually makes sense with what he does this is like a yes. quote-unquote kind of punny thing to do yes. that connects with joey but joey thinks it's a lifeguard tower so joey he's not and, joey pulled a joey and chandler and she's like what it's a lifeguard <laughs> he was pulling a barbie's like we i do beach um and then we had sydney come out we had medina all the tennis balls are pouring out again yeah. that one makes sense um then we have daisy this was my actual favorite i think it's not even my favorite too 
I don't know. I have to, I have to have to go back and think, yeah. think about it. But, um, Daisy pulls up in this cute, cute car, this cute old truck mm -hmm. with a Christmas tree in the back. And, um, it's because that she grew up on a Christmas tree farm. Remember we talked about her in cast mm -hmm. bios and we're like, she grew up on a Christmas tree farm. And we're like this, she is a hallmark. This is a hallmark movie. And her personality supports it. And she is just the, the most kind, like lovely person. Oh my gosh. When they had their conversation and all she talked about was how much she felt for him, how much that he probably is nervous and stressed about this whole thing and that she wants him to know to, to absorb it, to have fun, to enjoy himself. And that no matter what happens to her, she wants him to know that she is there for him. And I hope that he has a great time and to just be present. And I'm here. And I was just going, what? Like you, her mindset was like him first over me, even in this experience. Evan, Evan looked at me right away and he goes, she just made this whole thing fully about him. Like there and was, he's going to feel that she said something then too. She was like, um, I am so excited for you. Yeah. She was, I'm so excited for you and for your journey. And like, and I didn't feel in disingenuous. No, that, okay. That's the thing about Daisy is it doesn't feel disingenuous at all. And then also she was like, I'm so excited for you. And I'm going to be here for you this whole time. They also, by the way, are the same person. Yes. Joey and Daisy is <laughs> literally talk about Joey being a mirror. They're the same energy, just the most chill like kind, mellow energy ever. When they were talking to each other, I was like, I couldn't fall asleep to this conversation in the best way, mm -hmm. in like a relaxing, like everyone's, we're just taking our time and we're just enjoying this moment in life. Yeah. So Daisy definitely, <sighs> like everyone was posting on Instagram afterwards about like Daisy is just like this Hallmark Even movie energy. Name. Daisy, and she's grew up on a Christmas tree farm. I mean, okay, and she rolls up and she's just- Santa's her dad. So sweet and yeah. all of this. We also find out in the promo package um, that she actually started to lose her hearing at 17, recently got a cochlear implant. Um, and this is the first time that she's going to be dating since the implant. Um, I'm going to say this. I think it's pretty obvious. We're going to get to know Daisy quite a bit more. I agree. I think I we're going to get to know Daisy agree. quite a bit more. He was quite enraptured by her and they had a good kiss. Great kiss. They had a good kiss. We'll see. I mean, how she doesn't go far would be shocking to me. Hopefully we get to know her more. We shall see. Mm -hmm. um, then we finally get Leia and Leia, we've already met before yeah. because Leia was at After the Final Rose and got this special quote unquote advantage with a secret in this envelope on We're the all first guessing. night. What is it? What is right? it? Okay. So do we want to, do we want to dive into the Jess drama? Because I think we've covered most all of getting to know the women. Well, we should have talked about Jess. I yeah, know, I know. But do you want to talk about the Jess drama and then what went down with yeah. Leia? Let's talk about Jess and then we'll talk about Leia. Okay. And the first impression rose and the card yep. and all of that. Yep. Okay, so Jess, Jess has hit the ground running as our out the gate mm. villain. Like, we always have this. We always have our villain who's going to be here for a couple weeks and then like the final villain yes. or something, right? Or the surprise the villain. Yeah. I don't think Jess is going to be the boss villain. It's too no. early in the game. But Jess comes right out the gate. And the second that her and Joey sit on that relationship, the ship together yeah. <laughs> on her little yeah. yacht, um, she is... Super big personality, charismatic, yeah, and he seems captivated by her. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I was surprised when he immediately leaned in for the kiss. I was too, you know. And she said what every villain says, <laughs> which is, "I'm not here to make friends." You know, it's the classic. Right, like yeah, yeah. they all say it every time. <laughs> yeah. We they love rub, it. They rub. <laughs> I'm feeling that she is trained. I oh, you think feel, she's a coach? I feel like she's she is she has training because there's okay. too much like there's too much like she knows what she's doing and she's fucking up shit quick. So she's That's so true. she's like so she's coming in strong. She's you know, she interrupts someone right away. Like she walks so she walks in, she gets the kiss talks about it ruffles feathers she then, so she gets a kiss from Joey. She immediately goes into the room of all the women and goes 
everybody, you guys, I really hope that you have the opportunity to get to know him. He is an absolute sweetheart. Yeah. I hope that one day you and him will make a connection. Um, I just got myself a little smooch. Everyone, Everyone screams. Spirals. Yeah, that's where it's a little bit like, damn. I don't know if we've ever seen someone immediately kiss number one, go in and tell everyone. Exactly, and then turns around, interrupts someone's first experience with them uh, right away. Taylor, <laughs> Taylor, and then cuts her off. Is 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 waiting there, hanging. So they're getting like the awkward photo of like Taylor and him talking with her like three feet behind, <laughs> looking at them, waiting. The wings, oh, wait, yeah. are we right here. So then she she interrupts. He goes, sorry about that, and whatever. And then it's just, I'm not here to make friends. And it's like, for me, she chose her role in this. And she's it's, going all in. Yeah, because there, you're right. There were a lot of lines because she was just like, I don't want to be that girl. I don't yeah, want to be that girl. Exactly. And then in the same, in the same breath, the it was ITM, like, I'm not here to make friends. Exactly. The ITMs were really good. They were really like... She was she great was in the and ITMs. Crazy, going, yeah, and doing all this stuff. And <laughs> uh -huh. I'm like, okay. So she... It felt like she knew what she was doing. She's not simply just playing, doing her thing. It was like... She also simultaneously gives me the energy of she does have such a big charismatic personality that like... Is she the person that day one the producers are like she's down for all? She's of down it. for anything, and they're really, like, yes. you should go yes. confront this person, or you should tell them all. And she's like, let's do it, yes. bitches! <laughs> like that's the vibe from her. Where she's like, let's do it, bitches! Yes. Let's do it, bitches! Like it's gonna be so fun. Like they're, she's gonna they're be all gonna, like you know, it's like they're all gonna laugh about it later. And she's like, okay, yes, like yes. that's for sure potential. She doesn't there. hit me as actual you know hardcore villain she hits yeah. me as like i'm here to have fun and you know what's really fun is to stand out by doing crazy stuff yeah yeah, yeah for i'm sure. not getting actual hardcore villain energy well, also too when she sat down with taylor and they had the confrontation yeah which i gotta say i want to say it now shout out to taylor now you know i don't feel like it's a good idea to confront someone on the yeah, first I'm also night like, what's the point i'm like, like you're gonna you're gonna go you know you're, you're gonna go heart home to heart? you're gonna go home though if you're already confronting people on the first night because you're then too it becomes, sensitive for this experience well it just becomes a drama i don't blame taylor for confronting don't blame her, her but, because the way in which that just came in i appreciated the fact that taylor shut her down and goes yeah. not right now and kept saying nope 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 and then when she sat with her taylor didn't go to joey right away and tell joey about about jess yeah. she she kind of let it simmer with jess she wasn't like how dare you and da 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 she was a little bit like well for me kind of the energy that i felt was yeah. that it wasn't cool I thought she handled it pretty well. Oh, I thought well. she handled it great, but then Jess, did, <laughs> Jess was like, she was so aggravating to like argue with. She was just like, <laughs> oh my God. you're making it a big deal and you are um, putting words in my mouth <laughs> and you are like kind of gaslighting her or kind of like making her feel <laughs> like she's crazy. Taylor and she's was like, like, so you heard what I was saying. You're coming at me about this whole thing and it's just like, yeah. I mean, she Jess was <laughs> aggravating as shit and it was perfectly played, but it I really do was. think it was played. I don't think this is yeah. her just being herself. I think she was kind of you know playing around with now, everyone i don't know because then we see the confrontation in the preview between maria and jess right. now she and it seems like the crowd was pro maria and anti jess so she, maybe she continues you know what vibe i'm getting and actually now this makes me kind of sad to say it so i'm going to regret saying mm. this because it's going to turn shift the energy is that Jess is the type of person who says, I'm not here to make friends, but actually in her heart, she is. It's a classic defense this, mechanism. Yeah. It's like Jess really wants to have like that, like, if I hurt you energy. first, you can't hurt me. Yes. That's the vibe I get from her. So I think she is going to probably get really yes. hurt by the drama in this. And it, because even when she was sitting down with Taylor, even though she was being aggravating and defensive, there was like a sadness in the eyes yeah. where I'm like, I feel like she's sad that Taylor's mad a little bit. So I feel like it will be a reactive vibe with her because I think it's going to really hurt her feelings that the girls don't all love her. It's all fun and games now, but weeks in. Yeah. Even though she's saying, I'm not here to make friends. It's going to make, in, it's going to hurt tired. her feelings when the girls are anti her. Unless you're built like that. And certain people are built like and that. I, but I don't think she is. And she's not. I, I think she might be the one who, even though she started this whole thing, is the one eventually who goes to Joey and tells on yes. the girls before the girls tell well, you on. you see later, she's like, I don't know what he could ever even like in Maria. Yeah, she's going to be the so snitch. He's gonna she's going to be the snitch and yeah. the person who's starting, f like, ruffling, yeah. ruffling the feathers. She's going to spiral. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Um, 
that's going to be yeah. a wild. We're going to get a lot of drama from from Jess. Um, and then we have again Leia. So yeah. Leia has the envelope. It's said to be this amazing advantage. While what ended up being the case is absolute diabolical work. Like yeah. they gave her a diabolical envelope. And we the thought fact- it was going to be send someone home. We thought it was going to be something like that, which would have sucked. But this no, was that's still that send someone home is so <laughs> diabolical. <laughs> like, yeah, that's going to be casual. Like you're able true. to send somebody home. That's true. But, but what well, I would say the most diabolical is what she got, which is to be able to steal a one-on-one date from anybody which is like we all know is the golden goddess we all know that is the ultimate prize you need your one-on-one everyone starts spiraling because they never got a one-on-one they start losing their minds and if you could steal that from someone it would rip and it's their such heart a game out. changer simultaneously ripping someone's heart out simultaneously making you a villain even yes. though you don't want to be one in the house it's absolutely diabolical but yeah. i will tell you they told us something was going to happen that was yeah. going to be a game changer. And I'll be honest, one yeah. of the first times ever that when they opened that envelope, I was actually surprised. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that was an oh, shit moment. I'm Everyone like, you just freaked. made this a game show. Like, you just turned this and it became a game show. But my, what was interesting to me was, okay, so she then proceeds to cry ball be super emotional about it be under way too much pressure um which showed a lot of empathy a lot of grace a lot of sweetness perfectly played by her because it got her to lock in with him because he sees this and goes oh my gosh she's so so sweet so when joey then ends up getting to sit with her and is like so what does the envelope say and she's crying so much that she can't even tell him and she's like well i do get this advantage but like to what end and the, the way that she put it by the way was gorgeous she was like i'm in here and i want to respect your autonomy and the choices that you're going to make and i want to respect everyone else's journey she's like i don't want to leg up i don't want a a cheat code i want it to just be like pure yeah and then she says simultaneously even if i were to be given cheat codes it doesn't matter because even at the end of the day even if i were to get these cheat codes it's not going to change how you feel about me if i'm supposed to be the one or not and i was like wow well played well played gorgeous it got got her the first impression rose because of that which was great and we really got to know her yeah a beautiful person inside and out joey got to know her in a different way it was a green flag to me as an audience member that joey chose his first impression rose to give to leia after finding out that she was unhappy about the situation because he saw her character but you know this isn't a gift card she threw it in the fire okay it's not like oh now the qr code's gone can she bring this out? Can I, first of all, I was expecting for Jess to jump into the fire in order <laughs> to retrieve it for herself. Like, ah, like, yeah, like, like, you know what I mean? Like the ring, like, like Lord of the Rings, you know, like, it's like, he's, ah, like she's in there, like putting it together, like spending all night, like gluing it back together for herself. Um, well, that's the thing. Evan and I looked at each other and we go, okay, so, so like Leia, she symbolically threw it in there. Leia but, decided to, in front of the women, throw the card in there and say, I want nothing to do with this stealing of a one on one date, I won't do it. But what and if Jess like, wow. crosses her and then she busts it back out? Well, no, beyond Jess. What we were saying was oh, like, oh, right. Listen, the producers came up with something we've never seen that did add, though diabolical, quite a bit of interest to this. And I'm assuming they weren't expecting that the person they gave it to was going to throw it in the fire and be like, this is wrong. They and gave it to all, one like, of the few her. girls that would have absolutely not used it. But <laughs> yeah. there's quite, there's a handful that would have been like, hell yes. yeah. And so they're like, oh shit, we had this big <laughs> twist that you just, the question is, are producers just going to give that up? Or is there going to be a moment where they pull Joey aside and go, Joey, you can give this card to someone else. Or oh, is they should it, do a game where they fight for it. Fight for it? Ugh. Or or are they going to slip it to somebody? Yeah. A random moment where like a girl is like going to her bunk and then like, oh, and it's sees right a there. card and like it's like from signed Jesse Palmer. Like, we've appreciated you on this show. <laughs> Here's this option. It's and like, then they take it. It's like Jumanji. Who's, you, can't, exactly. you can't just stop the game. You can't just stop the game. It's this, <laughs> this shit's Jumanji. Game. Yeah, you can't just close it up and call it a day. The lions are running around. There's a guy hunting you. You, you have, have to finish, to finish playing, playing it. Playing the game. That is a fact. And then you have to throw it in the river forever. But you can't just stop. You are a hundred percent right. It is 
I, I swear, I just... I hope it, they it, have it to bring it back It can't be out. over. They're yes. going to bring it back out. There's some form. This was too, <sighs> made too much of a big deal to just go away Agreed. like that. Agreed. Okay? Agree. So I'm just saying. So anywho, um, first impression, Rose, yep. goes to Leia. Strong potential front runner energy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Just the whole house loves her. She did the right thing. She's yep. a hero to all of us. I mean, Joey, I mean, there is yeah. big energy. So big, that's what I'm big, saying. I think the, the first impression Rose curse might have ended for bachelors with Joey. Here. I don't think it's a, I'm, I'm more talking about it's a curse for the person's mentality. I know, but what I'm saying so is bachelor case, data has said that all the bachelors, the first impression right. Rose, the person doesn't last long. Right. Okay. Yeah. So right, 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 I'm right. saying, I, I think that's going to be different. Okay. With okay. Leia. I like that. Um. So then we end up having the Rose ceremony and, you know, like we brought up before, um, Lauren getting picked and being like, I can't believe you get to my sister first. Like, oh my God. I would have let her go right there. But like, clearly you're not here for me. You're here so to, you're here to hook up with me and rub it in my, your sister's face. That's why you're here. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> also, again, the fact that it's, she gets the first rose and Lauren literally turns around and goes, go fuck yourself. She yeah. says that. Yeah, it was crazy. That's wild. The girl's faces were like, oh, oh like, my God. Geez, chill, bro. <laughs> and then we get Daisy, Kelsey T, Lexi, Jess, Jen, Autumn, Krissa, Edwina, Kelsey A, Caitlin, Rachel, Erica, Medina, Sydney, Star, Marlena, Maria. Um, I was surprised that Maria was so far down the list, by the way. Yeah, maybe they I think I I think that was just they're playing with us. They're probably because she was with so us. obviously so good that yeah. it's like they're playing with us. I thought she us. was gonna be the first. I thought she that was first rose. I think for they're sure. playing with us. Um and then we got Taylor, Evelyn, and of course Lauren wraps it up and then um uh, we had a good amount of the women who went home. I'm sorry, I only wrote down. I was trying to write Who's them quickly, they? but I saw Chandler went home, Lainey Sandra, went Zoe, home. Kira. La that was well, did Lainey stay or go home? I think Lainey went home. Yeah, that shocked me. Yeah, only because two things. I thought she was really sweet. She was. She like handed him a drink right away. She, big smiles. They showed her a lot. Did you notice that? Yeah, well, a couple times. I felt like they showed her a lot for someone who was going home. That yeah wasn't like an um, arc. I felt like she. I feel like. That was a little shocking to me. She yeah. went home. And I feel then, like they showed Chandler a few, a few times as that's well. That's true. That's true. Um, Sandra went home. Remember, we thought, I thought yeah. she was going to, you know yeah. what I mean? Sandra, Sandra. Sandra. Um, Kira, Kyra, I believe, went home. Zoe. Kayla went home, I think. I think he didn't call Nat. I think Nat went home. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I'm missing some. Yeah. I'm so sorry. There was a handful. <laughs> R.I.P. But, but um, here we are. And then we get a preview. Um, a lot of Joey saying, I'm just a normal guy, which um, maybe that is. You know what? That might be Joey's one flaw. Joey's one flaw to me is that he keeps saying I'm just a normal guy. He said it like four times in the episode. And I'm like, Joey, you're not. And that's OK. And also, does that make you does that actually kind of like the. I don't like what bad boys is. It's kind of like, I'm just a normal guy, but deep down you kind of feel like you aren't. I see. I don't think special. so. I you think know what I mean? Like guys, I'm just a normal guy. I'm just like everybody else, man. It's like, <laughs> you're trying to play yeah. humble. Is there maybe a little bit of that I get, going on? I get pure humility from Joey. That's the energy I get from Joey. Uh, okay. Pure humility. Yeah. But I'm also just like, you're not just a normal guy, Joey. Like an on a TV and, show. And America has said so. America has yeah. voted you, you know, best looking, most charming, all these things. Like, you know, you've got a, a very interesting career. Like, Pretty soon I don't he's going to be like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to start doing like, you know what I mean? All like, the Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> These, these like funny little isms he does that are like the you hot know. guy isms yeah 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 like woohoo <laughs> just like what is that I don't know what I do man he's like, why are you talking with a southern accent all of a sudden like he's gonna start you know like you start doing that kind of stuff I don't know I'm just saying it's like a, it's like I'm just I'm just, I'm just a normal guy man just normal <laughs> okay we'll see we'll see <laughs> um, um, <laughs> there's, um, um there's a lot of so much crying in the previews so much crying in the previews bawling absolutely sobbing there's the we need to talk there's it, it's gonna be it looks like and i know that they can sometimes tease us with a trailer but it looks like it's gonna be a dramatic season and after that intro that we got and honestly that was a great first episode a Fantastic. lot of drama happened and even though the cast in my opinion was way too long i i want them to um split it into two episodes mm. so that we get to know all of the women more yeah. because I wish that we, these women deserve time when you are legitimately 
going through a casting process, buying full wardrobe for potentially two months, maybe losing your job, let them at least have a sit down with Joey on the first night. But so many women don't even get the opportunity to talk to him. That's bananas to me. Yeah, I agree. We're done with that. Let's make it two different nights, okay? A group one and a group two. They recently did this with like, RuPaul's Drag Race, okay? We do like a, we do, a, we meet half the cast and they do one night and then yeah. the other cast is another day, okay? So we really get to know everybody more. Yeah, anyway. Instead of, instead of just like brushing over 10 people and yeah. not even talking to them or at all. Or again, yeah. at least letting, there should be time for everyone to talk to the lead. Yeah. If you're going to do, go through all of that, like pl- give them five minutes, like please. That like, being said, I do feel like there's a good mix of people that I s- feel like are serious contenders. We got a good mix of some kind of possible villainous, villainous energy. Dramas. We got some fun. Mm-hmm. We got some drama. I think it's, it's set up to be... Like, and not everyone's obvious, too. It's not like, oh, this is obviously a problem. This yes. person's obviously a villain. It's a lot of, like, I don't really know what's going to happen, which is always makes for a good season. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait. Um, tune in next week on Wednesday as we do our second episode of Joey's mm-hmm. season. And don't forget also to tune in on Friday for our second episode of the week. Yes. We'll do some call homes then. Yes. Um, but, yeah, we love you all, Lee. We're so happy we are so back. Welcome back. Oh, and everybody, oh. remember, Internet Ceramics, oh. it'll be in the episode notes okay look at this gorgeousness That's stunning so excited <laughs> we're gonna close that on this because it is so gorgeous we love you all and bye, bye. see you in a couple days bye.